y'all welcome back to my channel um before i jump into today's vlog i just wanted to give you all a quick update in case you've been wondering where i've been if i'm still vlogging at all um and the answer is yes i am still vlogging um i've just decided to switch to a monthly release schedule for now um especially this time of year when it gets colder out i don't always go out and do a whole lot so i don't always have a ton of interesting stuff to film for y'all for vlogs um so i thought switching to a monthly release schedule would work better for now and then we can reevaluate once it warms up a little bit outside um that said if there are things you would like to see from me on the channel um things you'd like to see included in vlogs be sure to let me know in a comment down below and uh, with that said, we can go ahead and get started with the vlog. I am going to share with y'all some sticker designs that I've been working on. I got my samples in for the Sophie stickers. You may have seen them on Instagram or Twitter. Um, and I'm very excited to share them with y'all. So here are the Sophie sticker samples. They came out so cute. Um, I wanted to order samples for a couple of reasons. Um, one, this is my first time designing stickers, so I wanted to verify like that the colors look good. So off the bat, I can already see that this needs a few adjustments, so I need to lighten up the tone color a little bit. It's just a little too dark. And then um, there's actually some like lighter texture throughout the fur um, that's getting lost, so I want to brighten that up a little bit. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to check for was just the overall line work. So you could see I kind of had um, like a different style that I settled on. So I wanted to make sure that the lines were the right thickness, that the little gaps that I leave in didn't get too lost um, at this small size. But I think that looks good. So I just needed to adjust a few colors and then this one will be ready to order. And then I also have a few other um, stickers using like the same face as a base that I need to design. So basically kind of taking like an emoji approach. So I'll have like, um, like a drooling Sophie face, a heart eyes Sophie face, sleepy Sophie face. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to work on that next. I'm using Clip Studio Paint to design these stickers. Uh, so far it's been a great tool, but I'm still not super familiar with it. So I definitely don't have a very fast workflow yet. Um, I'm also working on an older Surface tablet that does not have a physical keyboard, uh, which probably doesn't help, but that said, I made the color adjustments pretty quickly, and then I decided to put together a little style guide for reference um, for future sticker designs. This includes the colors used throughout the sticker, so I'm just pulling and making swatches for all of those colors, including the tan fur color, the fur highlight color, line art, the eyes and nose, white fur color, and of course the tongue. Um, you'll kind of see a little bit in here of some of my experiments as I was just experimenting with different styles for these stickers. That's the one screen you'll see with all those Sophie faces. So it took a while to get to the sticker design that I settled on. And then I'm also documenting which brushes I used, um, the sizes for them, what they look like, and how they're used. Um, so this will save me some time later on so I don't have to go back into the original file and pull that information because it's kind of in different places. So I can just quickly look at this and uh, get all the info I need. So this style guide should help save a lot of time later on and uh, I've got some more stickers to design before these are ready to go.
Well, that's just yogurt. <laughs> All right, so we have another mealtime segment. Um, so I have a couple of cute things to show y'all and then a few things we got for Sophie from Black Friday sales, but let's start with the smaller items. Um, so first up we have... A package from Quinoa Monster. So I got this is the bakery sweater, which I'll pull it out in a minute, as well as if you can see him here, this little guy, they have an adorable toast plushie that it's, it's the same um, character that's on the sweater and it's adorable, so I had to get it. Alright, so we've got our little toast friend. His face is so adorable. <laughs> and the back side has a little egg, egg toast. Oh, and it's so cute. It came with a little certificate of adoption. I love that. I always love when these come with plushies. So cute. So you got both of those, and then the sweater. Let me see if I can show this well. So the sweater has the same toast character. Um, I'll kind of move from the bottom up. So you got little croissants. Different breads and things. 
So cute. And this is so soft. And then the sleeves have more designs, so there's more little baked goods. There's the egg toast. <laughs> little pretzel. And there are different designs on the both sleeves, which is cool. So cute. So yeah, this is my package from Quinoa Monster. Adorable. And next up we have, this is from Guide Beauty. Um, they have a very pretty little loco card here. So they make like more accessible beauty accessories. So I have been wanting to try out their um, eyeliner set. So that's what I got. So this is their eyeliner set. It comes with a um, guide wand. And the packaging is very pretty. And then also it comes with an eyeliner pot. So I just got a new black. There we go, it's kind of hard to focus because the lighting. <laughs> um, very cute. But the thing, that's nice at all. <laughs> the thing I'm mainly excited about is the wand itself, the applicator. So this guy So this looks super strange. It's almost like this little like curved hook looking thing. Um, but it's supposed to make it a lot easier for um, applying eyeliner rather than it, like a standard um, like brush or anything or pencil. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. I don't have a good way of showing like filming <laughs> this because if you don't know, I'm super blind, so I have to sit like right in front of the mirror, and I don't have like a good setup for filming anything like that. But I am very excited to uh, try it out, so I'll let you know how it works out. And if I like it. So the first thing we got for Sophie is this fancy car seat. So you can see it sits up pretty high. So this way she can actually see out the window. <laughs> but it's pretty nice. I got like the size. It's technically for two small dogs, but it's long enough to fit her. Um, but let's try to show you. So the seat belt connects the middle part across. There's like a little notch here that you run that part through and then you attach this um, little strap so that she can be buckled in. This goes onto her harness, never the collar. Um, that way she can stay secured in here in case of an accident and so she can't try to like get out of the seat. But it's nice and soft and comfy and it fits her well and she likes it. And the last thing we got is a stroller for Sophie. This is from Petique, the, uh, I think it's called Durable Pet Stroller. So she's got a nice little area to sit. There's mesh down low so she can still see out even if she's laying down. We've got little straps to keep her buckled in. There's a little canopy that can close and open. 
And then there's a bunch of little compartments and things, like there's a tray for drink holders and your phone. And then in the back, there's like a little pouch here, and then a little basket at the bottom. You want to give her a snack? She's shaky. Oh. It's okay. These are little stars. They're in different shapes. These are all little stars. <laughs> the... oh. 